Kanye West had a meeting with US President Donald Trump in the Oval Office. It was a it was a pretty weird meeting, not gonna lie. But in the middle of the meeting, Kanye accidentally revealed to the world what his iPhone password is, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. What is happening, people? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and if you need a place to get your news on YouTube, smash the subscribe and notification bell, and why don't you follow us on Instagram while you're at it? Before I get into this video, tell me in the comments below, are you guys fans of Kanye West? He's definitely uh, entertaining, to say the least. Kanye West has gotten himself quite the reputation over recent months. Kanye is one of Donald Trump's most vocal celebrity supporters. I mean, look, okay, he can support whoever he wants. It's a free country. But he's been saying some pretty weird things lately. Actually, wait, has Kanye West ever not said weird things? Let's recap. Let's do a little recap. History of Kanye right here. Kanye West once said that Malcolm X isn't relatable. He said he doesn't read books. He said Harriet Tubman shouldn't be on the American $20 bill. And he said he was more influential than Stanley Kubrick, Apostle Paul, Picasso, and Escobar. He said his greatest pain in life is that he would never be able to see himself perform live. Oh yeah, and uh, remember when he pissed off the entire world when he said slavery was a choice? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Sporting a Make America Great hat with again cut out, Kanye West had a working lunch with President Trump. Surrounded by news reporters and photographers, Kanye went on a long rant. What? While Kanye West was opening his phone to show President Trump the design for an iPlane, everyone saw his iPhone password and it was caught on camera. On live TV, in fact. And Kanye's password is literally, wait for it, zero, 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 zero. Six zeros. This is obviously pretty bad. You should never use a phone password that's all one number. It's uh, it's pretty easy to hack a password that everybody knows about. Especially because every media outlet has reported on how dumb the password is. Hopefully he changed the password after the meeting, but wait, there's more. There's always more with Kanye, isn't there? Later in the meeting, he showed Donald Trump a concept for an Apple hydrogen powered plane called the iPlane 1 that he wants to replace Air Force One with. The iPlane is not like a new thing, and it wasn't Kanye's idea. It's a, actually a concept piece that was designed by Shabtai Hirschberg in 2012 for his master's thesis on imagining the future of air travel in 2030. It was a very weird meeting, guys. It was rather rambly. Even Donald Trump looked confused. He barely talked for the entire 20 minutes. A speechless Donald Trump? Now that is what I would call rare. But wait, there's more. After the meeting, Kanye West went to an Apple store in Washington for a Genius Bar appointment. But then he like got up on a wooden table and delivered a speech to all the people in the Apple store. According to witnesses, Kanye got up on the table and explained why he chose to cut out the again from Donald Trump's signature Make American Great Again hat. He said that Donald Trump's Make America Great Again hat is disrespectful to black Americans. He says it hurts us as people, specifically black people, because we say, was America ever great for us? This uh, was coming from the guy that said slavery was a choice, guys. Just a little reminder. Kanye then showed everyone a picture of Trump wearing the altered Make America Great hat. So far, the reactions to the meeting have been pretty outspoken. And I'm not just talking about the media because we all know the mainstream media is biased towards Trump. Rapper T.I., who was supposed to go to this meeting at the White House, said that before the meeting, he was firmly Team Kanye. But after the meeting, he made a lengthy post on Instagram where he said he's been extremely patient and made a point not to jump to any premature conclusions about West and his antics, but the meeting was something of a last straw. T.I. then accused Kanye of auctioning off his soul to gain power and said he was ashamed to ever have been associated with him. Kanye's meeting was also criticized by 50 Cent, Diddy, and Jeffrey Wright, and practically every news comedian there is. Yes, this meeting was, how do I put this lightly, a circus. And frankly, it's taken attention away from what's really important in the United States right now, Hurricane Michael. Yet another devastating hurricane that has left 11 dead so far and has completely erased entire towns off the map. Anyways guys, that is all I have to say about that. How do you feel about Kanye West's meeting? Let me know down there in those comments, but for now I'm going to do some comment replies. Kami Tenchi said, that's nothing. I watched the Emoji movie and survived. Impressive. I applaud you. Adulating Pro Gaming G said, great video guys. Keep up the good work and I hope you get 10 million subs. Thanks dude, we actually just surpassed 1.2 million, which I think is pretty cool. Not as cool as 10 million, but still cool. Oscar Lewis Boglid said, had to leave the new top 10 dumbest tweets video for this. That is pretty substantial. I will have to tell Danny that you said that. VJ Jadeja, VJ, VJ, wow, that's a name. But you, you said, Charlotte should have been named Fast Lot. That is funny because I talk fast. Very, very cheeky. Andrew Bound said, how do I not get featured? There are less than 40 comments to choose from and you pick about five. The video that you commented on has 40 comments. Most have at least 150. The video is over. Thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, there's a link to a playlist right over here. And if you enjoyed your time here, smash the thumbs up, subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you in a future IO video.